Welcome back to Squawk on the Street. It is time now for our ETF Spotlight. We're taking a look at the iShares Transportation Average ETF, ticker IYT. It's up more than 2% since the beginning of 2020, currently trading up 7 tenths of a percent right now, outperforming the broader market. This is shares of Delta rise on better than expected quarterly results. That's helping give lift to other airline stocks as well. It's one of today's top performers in the S&P 500. Phil LeBeau is in Atlanta, where he spoke with Delta's CEO. And for that, we go to him. Phil. Morgan, much better than expected numbers for Delta in the fourth quarter, easily beating the street, earning a buck seventy a share, 30 cents better than expectations. You also had revenue coming in at $11.4 billion, well above the analyst estimates. They also beat the street when it comes to revenue per available seat mile, as well as profit margins. All around, almost any metric you look at, the fourth quarter was a solid one for Delta. Premium revenue, things like revenue they received through their agreement with Chase, the credit card, they did very well there. And it also helps that there was strong demand for the holidays. The demand was really healthy. It was, it was a strong holiday period. And as a result of that, we were able to take you know, revenues, grow revenues, grow our, our capacity, particularly domestically. And we uh, delivered great results, which we see going into 2020 as well. One other reason, one other reason why shares of Delta up more than 4% today, it's guidance for Q1. Now, they don't give earnings guidance, but they do give guidance on revenue and a few other metrics. Extrapolate those out, and a number of analysts are saying, look, this is better than we expected. And that's why shares of Delta up close to an all-time high, just under $63 a share. Guys, back to you. Yep, uh, was on pace for its best day since April, uh, settling back just a touch now, Phil. 